Hey everyone, this is Hyperactive, and today I'm going to be quickly re reviewing Blameless, a free indie horror game by Valkalav Vaglav Huduk. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Let's get started. The gameplay is your standard first person survival horror where you solve puzzles. But the puzzles are actually logical with two ways to solve each one. This does add a sense of realism to it. If they were to make another game, I would love to see this come back. Every game needs a scary atmosphere, and Blameless has that. It's dark, claustrophobic, and can you see this place has some sort of history behind it. But the history, the story, is what hurts the game the most. Blameless starts off strong with a two minute introduction of how the protagonist got in this situation. The protagonist does act and react in realistic ways like a real human being would act in certain situations. Well, except for Markiplier. Dark corridor. Me neither! Let's see if the light switch is working. No, let's sprint down it! <laughs> it's just a shame that the story here is really bare bones with an ending you can't change. There are three articles you can find, but they don't really add anything to the mystery. Two of them are just instructions, and the other one's about a late ladder, so there isn't much reason to go back to see what you missed. There is a really good short horror game here, but the lack of a story is what's holding it back from being truly great. Hey, just a quick little update. Tonight I will be streaming around 7.30 playing an indie horror game called Only One Breathing. It's a horror game I played a while back and never beaten. The Resident Evil Hyper Review won't come until next week because that's when the game comes in the mail, so sorry about that. Well, I'll catch you guys later. If you like hearing my thoughts and ideas, why not subscribe, like, and share this video. See ya!